Hey everyone, I'm back with another banger, and in today's video, I will be ranking all daily weapons that cost 1000 coupons in a tier list. This video is an update version of my old best weapons to get for coupons, because Galio updates happened which made more weapons available for coupons. This is a really long video, so watch it to get informed really well about each weapon. Anyways, let's get right into the tier list. So here we got an empty tier list, but we have more than 140 weapons to rank and to talk about in this tier list. There are 4 tiers, really good, good, decent, and bad. They tell you how good they are and if they are recommended or not. Also please note that the rankings are based on my opinion, so if you have a different opinion, you can comment down below your opinions about the weapons. Anyways, let's start ranking. So for our first weapon, we, we have the block shotgun. This is one of the worst shotguns in the game. I'm gonna say it's bad. This is one of the worst shotguns in the game. Don't buy this. Block rifle. It's good. It should be right here, but there are better weapons than this. Felter melter. It sucks. Bad damage. Uh, three shot kill or four shot kill. It just sucks. Aloha Boom Boom or Hermes Gun. <laughs> it's decent. It has good DPS. I don't know if that's gonna be good or recommended, but I mean, primary is aren't really powerful in this meta, so I can say it's decent. Now for Berserk as a skeleton. This can be outclassed by complete grinder so right here bad deep it has like decent dps but it's outclassed by complete grinder block flamethrower it's not useful in the current meta big bang revolver it's another version of laser cycler but it doesn't have ricochet or you know, piercing shot, it's just air damage, but the air damage got nerfed. But also, if you, if you 3 cast with this too fast, it will give delay. It just has the same delay of later cycler, and also does slightly better damage. Maybe here, or maybe here. I'm gonna say, hmm, it's not recommended. Acid Shotgun, highly recommended because it does better than Viking if you 3 cast spam with it, especially that if you have these modules comparing between them, because now this is one of the best shotguns after you work for 3 cast spamming, but currently the best shotgun for 3 cast spam is currently Ultimatum. Now coming to Big B Oven. It's broken. Right here. It does have long fixed delay, but it's actually broken. With that with that amount of damage per shot and also that good fire rate. I'm not gonna say it's good, but really good. You need you need strapper modules to make this good. Or else, it's gonna look like decent for you. Boris Roar. I can say it's good. It has a long range shots, but however, its damage is not really broken. I can say it's like two, sh two to three shot kill, depending on your modules. It doesn't have critical hits. But I can say it's good. It's not really the best casual weapon. Because it can be outclassed by Chica Boom in terms of general usage. Now, coming to Boom Blaster, why would you use this in your heavy category? Use your heavy weapons properly. It should be right here. It has a long fixed delay and okay DPS. Candy Baden, it's your choice, but buying melees only from ability. This deflects on your enemies. 
I don't find it's worth it. Chicka boom. It used to be right here because it did one shot developer armor with like high modules. But now after shotgun work, I find it here. Or maybe here. But I'm gonna say it's here. But still it's a pretty good casual weapon. It's a really good weapon, but it does have fixed delay. And since after shotgun work it's not really one shot to develop on anymore to the body. It's pretty sad. Now coming to the Christmas spirit and space space devastator. They're both almost the same, but however, I'm gonna rank Space Devastator higher than Christmas Spirit. Right here and right here. It has pushing shot and also slightly faster fire rate. They both do the same damage. But this has no delay, and this has delays. Both delays, actually. Cookie Minigun. Hmm. It's pretty okay matches, but it's not recommended. And also, I don't find a good use to use this weapon. I don't find a reason. Maybe it could be here, or maybe it could be here. But I'm gonna say. Since it's only okay in close range, maybe here. You know what? Leave it right here. I'll recap for the list later on after I finish the video. So, I mean, after I finish the ranking weapons, I'll recap through the entire list just to change any placements. Now, coming to Ritual Revolver and Dual Anger. Ritual Revolver is better than Dual Anger in terms of capacity and damage. Since Dual Anger's fire rate got increased after a balance change, it also means that its damage got reduced. But anyway, I can prefer Ritual Revolvers over Dual Anger. So it's gonna be here, and it's gonna be here. Eliminator Z2. It's decent with the boys, with the Aloha Boom Boom. Royal Ashbringer and Demolition is a skeleton. They are both hard enough for being a rocket jump weapon, but Demolition is a skeleton. It used to be right here, but but after you know the balance changes, which you know reduced the. Uh, Reloading speed and also the capacity, it got cut by half. I don't see it being good anymore. Maybe here or maybe here. But you know what? This is gonna be here. And this weapon, since it has higher capacity than Demolition is a Skeleton, and it's better than Demolition is a Skeleton by a lot in general usage, I find it should be highly recommended if you are looking for a 3 cast spam heavy or rocket jump we are not here to look at the jump powers because this has higher jump power than Royal Ashbringer but we are not here to compare between them in jump rocket jump power we are comparing them in general usage how good they are in general so this is better than Demolition as a Skeleton. It's not recommended. Maybe here, maybe here. I'm gonna say... I'll leave it right here. Yeah. Engineer as a Skeleton. It sucks. Bad DPS. Freon. Now coming to Freon, it used to be overpowered back then, like in 2018, but it's not as OP as before, and I can say it's decent, and also there are better flamethrowers than this weapon, right here. It's not useful in the current meta. It does have that long range hits, not longer than a scanner or incinerator. And also has a good hitbox. 
and decent DPS. Golden Friend and let me take Royal Fire as well. They are both the same. They are both the same. They both have the same DPS. However, they are both different in terms of stats. This has higher higher capacity than this and slightly better mobility than this. So I can say they are both good, however, but they won't compete right here because they are going to be a primary that is going to stay in this level. Now coming to this one, it's just like Aloha Boom Boom. It's pretty decent. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. They are both kind of good, but not as good as these things. Hitman is a skeleton. Oh my goodness. Why do you need this? Why do you need this? Why do you need this? Right here. Or maybe here. It's kind of decent, but especially this outclassed by dual anger, I don't find it good, and it also sucks. Now coming to Laser Cycler, right here, it's highly recommended if you need a 3 cast spam backup. Because this is better than Alien Blaster, and you know it has better damage, better damage, better capacity, and also it's accurate. And it also is actually really good in backup challenges. But not as good as Sneaky Pistol, which I'll explain later on. Now coming to last week, right here. It's really good for primary challenges. And also I can find it better than Chickaboom in terms of how you used it in primary challenges. They are both casual weapons, however. But I prefer last week. And also, since it has that very low fixed delay, which doesn't, which is, which is actually a joke. So you can freak out spam with this as well. Now coming to Liquidator Z1. I could say it's pretty decent or good. I'm gonna say right here. Shouldn't be competing right here because you know how it's used in three cast spam and casually but it's pretty good in casual casual way because it's three shot kill to the body if you have like decent modules I'm gonna say maybe here maybe here you know what I'll leave it right here trick that Mr. Mixer it has just really, really high damage at full charge. But, you know, very long charge. And also, it does have fixed delay. It's pretty a casual weapon. And it also has pretty slow bullet travel. Now, coming to One Punch Gauntlet, let me bring right here the Primal Cold. They are both almost the same, but they are different in some ways. They are both going to be right here, but let me explain the com comparison between them. So let's talk about single target. Single target. This can do better than One Punch Gauntlet because of better range. But then let's compare them through killing a group of enemies. This is going to be better than Primal Cold in terms of killing group of enemies because it takes one hit to activate Super Punch and Primal Cold takes two hits to activate Super Punch. So this can take the crowd faster than Primal Cold. But however, Primal Cold still have that Super Punch glitch where 
if you hit your super punch ability, you will just need one hit to activate another one. But anyway, they are both gonna be right here. But if you are looking for a weapon just for killing enemies with a melee weapon and also for brawls, I, re I recommend this. Now coming to B Blaster. This is very important for duels because you know most people nowadays use it in duels and it's actually annoying as well. And also it helps you in brawls as well in damage reduction brawl. You can just turn the enemies into a bug and you can just easily one shot one shot them using any weapon you have or two shot kill. And also it's really useful for Firecracker Challenge. And I used that weapon in Firecracker's Challenge. And I only took less than an hour to finish the Firecracker's Challenge. It's not even hard if you, need, if you use this weapon. Because Firecracker's gadget can one shot the bugs. Right here. Where is it? Right here. Portalium Rifle. I could say it's good, but cannot be one of these weapons that are on top. Power Claw, uh, you're not looking for this weapon, right? Right here. I don't know what to say. Proud Eagle. It's three to two shot kill and also has and also loses accuracy. It loses accuracy as you shoot. But also this weapon gets outclassed by Comet in Parkle Accelerator. So I don't find it good to buy. Because there are a lot of snipers that are better than this. Real revolver. This used to be a 3 cast band weapon, and I used to say it right here, but... So they got fixed delay, and it also does less damage than Laser Cycler. I'm gonna say it's right here, but it's a good weapon for casuals. But Laser Cycler is actually better by a lot. Sniper as a skeleton, or often called as a simp weapon right here it's pretty easy to use because of its crosshair that you have in your gameplay and also because of its shooting position which pretty much helps you get headshot kills it's not hard to land headshot kills with this weapon I'm not here to focus on damages but we are here to focus on overall of this weapon it has pretty big capacity, which is actually ridiculous, like four capacity higher than Mammoth. But you know, it can be outclassed by Mammoth, by a lot in terms of damage, you know. Sog Bomber and Temple Garden, right here. They are both good. Maybe. Well, they are two shot kill. They are two shot kill, but they are not that good in long range or medium range. I don't know, but they are pretty good in castle school and science school. What do you call this? Ice palace. So I'm gonna say maybe either for both of these things, good or recommended, or really good. Maybe I'm gonna say both of them have to be landing here. I don't know what to say, but how about this? How about this? Trick this. If you are wanting which one to buy, if you're wanting which one to buy, look, let me compare between them. This kills enemies faster than this. But this, however, has a bigger capacity than Sock Bomber, 
I don't remember their capacity yet, but you know they are pretty good. They are pretty good. But it's not as good as Big B oven. You know what? Let me put them right here. I have no I'll make my choices later on. Spark Shark and Cole Frightener, because they are both similar to each other. What I'm gonna say is that I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they both have fixed delay and there are two shot kills and but this being two shot kill requires less module levels than this one but you know that this has strong slowdown target this is actually annoying but what I'm gonna say is that it used to be really good. This used to be really good back when Connor did not exist. But nowadays, I find it has to be right here. Where is it? In this one as well. The difference is is that this cannot rocket jump, but this we can. You know, so it does have do headshots. Now coming to now coming to stormtrooper as a skeleton. This is one of the best primaries, automatic primaries. I mean, I mean it's gonna be second best, maybe not, but you know the best prime weapon that doesn't have bullet travel is Golden Bros. Ridiculously high DPS. Vertical grip device, right here. This, this and Pew Blaster being, this and Pew Blaster is a big combo, great combo. Just move around the map, move around the dual map and pull out this, boom, then it turns on the bug. It's just my opinions again. But anyways, this is... This is really recommended for duels and also for free play mode if you if you want to move around the map pretty fast and also it's, it's a beast in capture points and flag capture. So yeah, this is gonna be right here. But it's not used for attacking. Don't use it for attacking because that's not how the weapon is used for. Zap Blaster what I can say about this weapon is that it's worse than Shell Bubbler. It's worse than Shell Bubbler. And also it has that long fist delay. Right here, it's just worse than Shell Bubbler in terms of DPS. But it does have better damage, but still less DPS than Shell Bubbler. And also I just find it not that easy to use. But yeah, if you don't, if if you already have, if you already have shell bubbler, you don't need this weapon. Maybe decent, maybe this. But the, however, they are both good for headshot challenges. But you know, I'm gonna say, right here, I guess. Now coming to sneaky pistol. This is a better version of laser cycler, but it's a casual weapon only, because it has fixed delay. Right here, it's one of the one of the recommended weapons for backup challenges. It's pretty good. It's just two shot kill to the body, and if you have high modules, it can be one shot headshot. But it's not even possible to go clan armor and develop armor. So yeah. Now coming to Viking. This should have been here, but at the shotgun it work. What can I say about this? What can I say about this? What can I say? Hmm, well look. After shotgun it work, it's no longer one shot kill to the body. It's just now like two shot kill to the body. But if you have like decent modules or good modules, it's gonna become one shot headshot. 
But you know how headshots work nowadays. You have to aim directly at the enemy's head in order to make a headshot damage. But anyway, I can say it's not gonna be here, but it's gonna be here. If you compare them with high modules, as a shotgun and Viking. As a shotgun is better than Viking because you know it's better. It has no delays, while this has delays. Now coming to Alchemist Staff. I could say it's decent, because it's not really not really good because. Well, it's two shot kill, but it does have looping shots, which makes it not good in long range or medium range. Alien Bouncer, this is a really good. This is a good weapon for casuals, but that weapon has long fixed delay. What the heck? I'm gonna say it's right here. It's a better version of Reflector and Laser Bouncer in terms of the damage. But it has a lot of long fixed delay, so you cannot really take as fun with this weapon. If it's gonna be good, maybe it's gonna be decent. But, anyways, it's not recommended. Amazon Shop Ring. I mean, it's bad damage, bad damage. I'm gonna say right here. It's not one of the weapons you should look for. I could say, since it's actually good in science school and classic pool because you know there are closed maps in the the record check for this weapon can be fun to have more, multiple enemies in there. I want to say I'll think about this later. Now come into ancient scroll. This is like Killer Cord, but weaker. Why? Because lower capacity and also it has high recoil. And also it doesn't have that charm effect, but instead it has gadget block, which people might not use gadgets, if I guess so. It doesn't have delay anyway, it doesn't have any delay, unlike Killer Cord who has fixed delay. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not recommended or decent. But I'll think about this later. Triple musket. This used to be not not recommended before shuggery work, but after shuggery work, this became good again. So how how can I say this? It's good, but not that good. It's two shot kill. That's pretty much it. Triple bite. Uh, after merely rework, I just see this useless. What can I say about this is that it's not good. It used to be right here, but after many balance changes for this weapon, oh my goodness. I can either say it's gonna be bad or decent. But whatever whatever I'm gonna say is right here. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Now coming to Aranabite. It's one of the most popular snipers for normal lobbies, but since custom lobbies got added, it doesn't really seem useful anymore. But still it's a decent weapon for big as spam. It doesn't have any delay and it has big capacity. It's gonna be here. RK Flamethrower, it sucks. Arcade Rifle, how can I say this? How can I say this? It has incredible DPS of 196 DPS. That's the base. That's the base DPS without models and without models and wear. But what I'm gonna say about this could be here or here. 
but I don't know what to say, but it's only good for close range. But you know what? Let me put it right here. Don't buy this weapon if you are not looking for an automatic primary or something that has blood travel like this. But it's really deadly in close range. So buy this if you want to. I'm not gonna force you to buying this. Maybe here. You know what? Okay, here. I'll think about this later. Armadillo! Armadillo, armadillo. How can I say this? Decent. If it doesn't one shot for you, no, 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 no. Don't get this. Artifact. Well, I can say that it's decent. There are better pri there are better backups you can use. Now coming to battle grind throwers. It's like spinny shooty, but it's in back backup category. So I'm gonna say right here the boys battle horn decent it's two shot kill or three shot kill depending on modules and it has okay range I see it perform better than the other flamethrowers I see it perform better than most of the flamethrowers but there are some flamethrowers that I can actually outclass this flamethrower. Now coming to black hole, it's decent, however, there are better weapons, it doesn't do headshot damage. Its base, de base damage is 126, it is decent. Oh spirits, why would you get why would you get this weapon? No, no 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 no. It's like you are using enemy Sith, but it's not a category, but why would you use this? No 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 Brave Lion is decent. You know it's not as good as Primal Cold and One Punch Gauntlet. They both heavily outclass this weapon. However, it does take more hits to activate Super Punch than these two weapons. Brutal Thinner is two shot kill. It does have his delay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There are better specs you can use. Chipping Whip Chipping Whip Is this Goose Save 2.0? It does have that long range hits Wow it does have that long range hits But I mean Goose Save is actually better than this weapon Maybe here Do not use Shift Module because it makes it worse Christmas Ultimatum, and let's talk about this right now. Let me, let's talk about this. We have a discussion about who's better. We have the Sasha System and Christmas Ultimatum. So, let's see the difference between them. So, Destruction System is actually better than Christmas Ultimatum in general. Why? Because Christmas Ultimatum is kinda bad or decent without modules but you actually need some good shrapnel module level to make this good but you know still it's not as good as destruction system and destruction system can be used in block crash while this cannot be used in block crash but let's talk about destruction system first so the Sunshine system has good damage and good 
air damage but you know you can get hurt from that rocky jump so most of the time you get hit you hurt yourself when rocket jumping so you need to use demolition mask you need to use demolition mask and try to rock try to jump first and then rocket jump or else without without demolition mask you can try to find a way to rocket jump with this weapon without getting hurt so what I'm gonna say over here is crystal ultimatum right here and destruction system right here I prefer it over crystal ultimatum now coming to overseer it has it has great damage and also good capacity and it has x-ray and you know you can 3 cast spam with this weapon there's not much things I can say about this weapon it's pretty good right here but here's the difference between this and this so this is a cheesy weapon this is a cheesy weapon and mostly used for headshots most likely and this one it has good damage just decide which one you're gonna get because are you gonna get the sniper with good damage and good capacity or get this but with slightly lower damage than overseer but it's kind of cheesy to use and has twice the capacity of overseer but if you have no choice at all you can just go for this and then think about this later on now coming to cook and totem mm, I'm gonna say it's decent it's it's useful for Balbek challenges, but you don't need this weapon if there if you have the Portalia set. Now coming to Cops Club. Same thing as Candy Baden. I don't see why you have to get this weapon. Corn launcher, just the same thing as Armadillo. Now coming to now coming to Cyanex Sport Thrower and also let's talk about this for now. So where is nuclear rifle? As you may know, there is a difference between them. Cyanex Sport Thrower is just better than nuclear rifle. I'm gonna put this right here and this one right here. Yeah, pretty much. So here's the difference. This has better damage per shot than this weapon. And also this and also it has charm effect, which is useful. It's not useless, it's useful. Because it reduces the damage you get from enemies by 50%. But well, still there are better there are better automatic primaries you can use. Like this one for example. wait, wait a second. For example, for this one example. Like like this for example. This is, if you are looking for a smack primary, get this. This is the first thing you get before you get the others. But anyway, this has high recoil and also lower damage. Well, also, it does, ha it does piercing shots, but I don't see it being bad than Sanus Portal War. Course Pirates. Mmm, useless. Cyborg hands, I can say it's decent. Pretty okay DPS. It's damage is good, but it has decent DPS because of slightly slightly slow fire rate. Now coming to Storm. I can say it's good. It's good. If you are looking for a good realistic mode primary you can get this because you know in realistic mode area damage is increased so this weapon can become good and also in general this weapon is also good but cannot be competing with stormtrooper exoskeleton now coming to plastic rifle 
same thing as Storm. You know they do they do both same damage, but Storm has better DPS than Plasma Rifle. But what I can say about this is that I can prefer Storm over Plasma Rifle. Also, this cannot be used in realistic mode. Right here. Wait a second. Decent. Now coming to Delhi Umbrella or Delhi PG3D Umbrella, the snowman guy. It's bad. It's not useful in the current meta. Dead man's rifle. Hmm. I can say it's really good. But how can I say this? How can I say this? Right here or right here? It's between really good and good because of its good damage. All I'm gonna say is that I'll just leave it right here. Just for now. Oh, Demon Catcher. Right here, right here. This is really good. This is really good. This is the best bullet shell weapon they have ever seen. Great damage, and also it's known for being useful in clan raids. It's basically a turret destroyer. It's pretty good in brawls as well because it has that super punch ability. You know, super punch can be activated after a single hit. But the only downside I can say is that it has bolt travel. Which makes it not that good in long range or medium range. Now coming to Digital Sunrise. I do not understand why did this weapon get nerfed. But uh, I'm gonna say it's good. Because it's two shot kill. I'm not here to focus on damages. But it does good damage at total when all this bleeding damage goes away. Overall it's good. But it's not as good as these ones, okay? So here. Dual cryo pistols. How can I say this? Not useful. I mean, it's not, it's not good, to be honest. There are better backups to use. Earth Tremor. Well, well, I can say it's good. It's a good special because it has that really fast full charge speed you can fully charge it in less than a second and also it's two shot kill it's not even bad damage it's just two shot kill i just find it better than cookie mixer it also has that healing healing regeneration which heals you by 10 percent and also it's the only weapon in the gallery that regenerates your health So if you don't have a healing regeneration weapon for clan rays, like not heroic epe, you need to get this. You can equip this in clan raids. It's not bad. It also has that disabled jump, so it's annoying as well. Now coming to Echo Die Rifle. It's mostly known for being a 3 cap time weapon, but come on dude, you should use your categories properly. Right here. Haha! Haha! -ha. Electric Vortex! The best special in the game! Right here! Right here! Right here! You know what? Jokes on you. It just sucks. It just sucks. This weapon just sucks as well. This one. Why would you use this weapon if there is vertical grip device? And also, don't get this weapon unless if you just gonna use this weapon for fun in sniper forts. It's 
pretty fun to use the cyber forts, you know, because you can you can use it in cyber forts. And I have seen people use the Telly hook to just move to the enemy's base and then use that Aphrodite crossbow to kill the enemies in close range. Now coming to Fierce Pack. It's decent. It's decent pretty much. Well it's better than Battle Grind Throwers, but you know I don't see it being too good or good. You know why? But what can I say? What can I say? Should it be here or here? It's kinda good. But should I put it here? You know what? This is only for casuals. That's pretty much it. It's only for casuals. So you can just say right here. Now coming to Fireball Gauntlet. If you just miss one fireball, you are screwed up. I'm gonna say between bad and decent. But what I'm gonna say is that I'm gonna say it's decent. Well, you know what? Okay, I'll just put it right here, or maybe here. It's really bad in long range or open maps, so there's no way gonna use this weapon at all. What the heck? Frosty Railgun. Frosty Railgun. It's jealous of block rifle and sniper as a skeleton and third eye and other snipers getting buffed. In this one, it does not get buffed. But anyway, it does decent damage. It's not as good as block rifle, however. I'm gonna say it's decent. Gladiator. It's a waste of sniper category. Why would you use this weapon? Now coming to Thanos Gauntlet or Gauntlet of Power, I'm gonna say mm, decent or maybe good. What I'm gonna say is that mm, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna put it right here. That's pretty good. I'm gonna say it's decent. It has that long fist delay, but it's also Dark Mage Wand, but better damage. It's just two shot kill. Gorgon Head. Well, should I play with the boys? It's not supposed to be better than Earth Tremor. So, do I have some reason on why does this not look better than Earth Tremor? But should I say it's good? or decent. It's between them, but however, I'm not gonna recommend this. I'm not gonna recommend this. Now coming to hand gangling. Decent with the boys. It has it does have that gangling effect. Which pretty ruins it. Not by much, but it's pretty good for casuals. Now for this it has high damage per shot but should I say it's good or decent? What can I say over here? I don't even I don't remember using this weapon, but po testing this on Polygon, it does really high damage. It does really good damage. But I see I have seen weapon reviews for this weapon. It's not even used easily. It cannot be used easily because for some reason. I see the shooting position. Yeah, it just feels pretty uncomfortable to play with. But I'm gonna say it's decent. If you have any opinions about this weapon, please comment down below. Also, I don't have this at level 65, so you know because I agree a lot of the weapons in this in this tier list because just to make this video, 
doesn't know how good they are but since I'm broke in gems or almost broken gems since I have like 500 gems I'm not gonna grade this so I'm gonna say it's decent according to weapon reviews I saw now coming to Hocus Pocus same thing as cooking totem you need some of the boys you know it's two, one shot kill if you need if you have like good modules but I actually prefer cooking totem over Hocus Pocus because of the faster kill because of the faster time needed to kill but however they are both good for a big challenges but don't use them if you have Portal set or at Ultimatum Adept set. Now coming to Huge Boy. Well, 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 well. This one was used to be right here. But now after area damage got reworked. And also since developer armor existed. I don't see this weapon being useful for duels. Because, you know, I used to use this weapon for duels. It's pretty good. It's one shot kill. You just need decent mods to make a one shot kill. It also is, just stands out for being the best, the best one to one heavy in the game. But I don't know if it's gonna be good or really good. But I'm gonna say right here, I guess. But overall, I prefer destruction system of this if you pick a spam. Now coming to Ice Chaser. These are the boys. It's probably the damage is almost exaggerated. But should I say it's good or decent? It's between. It's between. I don't know what to say, but it's between. What should I say? What should I say? Maybe here? Maybe. Maybe. Never mind. Now coming to Ice Cream Thrower. I'm gonna say it's decent with the boys. It's two shot kill and it has that fixed delay. It's not that bad, but I, I can say I can say it's decent. Ice lightning, I don't see it being useful. It can be outclassed by this ancient scroll and quick accord, especially the champion arc. <clears throat> Inevitability. This weapon does great damage, but there is a problem over here. The problem is is the range, the shooting range. It has the range of the shotgun. I don't see it being useful. So I don't say it's good or really good or recommended or, re or highly recommended, but it's not recommended right here with the boys. And now coming to Instigator. This is one of the good weapons for Block Crash, but it's a bit terrible in multiplayer, but it's okay in, you know, Flag capture or capture the points. But what I'm gonna say is it's pretty decent or maybe bad. I don't know what to say. It does have its purpose. So, right here. And also, look. If you don't have any good cluster, if you don't have any good block crash weapon, I can recommend getting this because it's really good in block crash, but it's not as good as Bell Falcon or it's not as good as Bell Falcon or PGA TV. So yeah, I'm gonna say maybe here or maybe here. Anyways, I'm just gonna land it right here. That's it. But look, this is not good for multiplayer. I repeat, this is not good for multiplayer. Its only purpose is for being a block crash weapon. But if you have PGA TV or 
Pilot Bell Falcon, a maybe mythical or something. You don't need this. You don't need this. Now coming to Invisible Lion. It's a beast. It's a beast. I'm not gonna lie. Highly recommended weapon if you want to use it casually. But still, it does have fixed delay. You know, it do it's two shot kill and also you can activate through punch with. You can activate through punch if you make. T you can activate through punch if you take two hits. And the super punch one shots the enemy most of the time if you have like decent modules at least. So yeah, I can say I prefer it over Big B Oven if you have decent modules. Overall, I find it better than Big B Oven. So yeah. Now coming to the lamp revolver, um, right here I guess, it's decent, it does decent damage, it's pretty cast spammable, it has bullet travel which I don't find useful. Laser carbine, this is a good choice if you're not looking at web for a weapon that doesn't focus much on damage but focus on, focuses on gives more now coming to laser carbine this is a good choice if you are looking for a sniper that isn't focused on damage but focused on giving you more ways of recast spamming so it does not have any delay but if you 3 cast ban too fast, it does give delay. So try to calm down with your 3 cast ban speed. What I'm gonna say is gonna be right here with the boys. Last cry. Um, now coming to last cry. You don't need this weapon if you have Percival and Lamorak or if you have med surgery module because you don't need this if you have these two weapons but anyways it's pretty good it's pretty useful for raids you know the raids in the center of the clan war map which makes you move move fast in the raid map so you can finish the raid so you can finish raid matches pretty pretty quick but i'm gonna say we're gonna say it's gonna be right here. Light thrower. Deep ambush is better than light thrower. I don't know what to say. Now coming to light thrower. It's gonna be right here because well, this two shall kill, but you know. It can be outclassed by a deep ambusher or something like ectoplasmic grenade launcher or the heavy from Loki lottery. So yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna say maybe good, maybe not recommended, decent, I don't know. Moon Hellbird is decent. There are better melees out there. You know, the Sharp Flame is better than this weapon. The sharp flame is better than this weapon. And also a re-spear. A re-spear is better than this weapon as well. Now coming to mooring ha now coming to mooring ancher. Well, this is better than magical boomerang. But look, you know that this weapon is only good at close range? And also in, in hallways only? It's only good in hallways. It's only good in hallways or close range. But look, if you use this weapon in open maps like nuclear town, it's useless. Don't buy this. Don't give this. But overall it's decent. Now coming to Mouse Scepter. 
It's bad. After the melee work, it's bad. Don't get this. Now coming to offensive catapult, it sucks as well. I don't find a good using. I don't find a good reason to use this. Now what about the offensive catapult? It sucks. Redneck's bazooka can heavily outclass this weapon. Orange killer, right here as well. Not even good. Now coming to Peppermint Gardens. Decent. Decent, decent, decent. It has okay DPS and it doesn't have any delay and also it can hit multiple enemies in one line because it has piercing shot. Well, however, it's decent. Now coming to Pew Blaster. Now coming to Pew Pew Rifle. What I can say about this is I can say it's pretty good because it does have that useful X-ray effect. If you if you don't have any X-ray weapon, you can just use this because it's really useful for team strike. Just to just to locate your enemies. But you don't need this if you just know how to use the Oracle from your sniper. But however, good TPS and yeah, pretty much. It's just like Aloha Boom Boom, but there is something useful, which is the X-Ray, which, which is useful in Team Strike. Plague Purifier, right here. Now coming to Plastic Bazooka, uh, it's decent. You know why I don't have to put it right here but however it does the same damage as Crystal Ultimatum but Crystal Ultimatum is better than this weapon <laughs> now coming to Plastic Carabin well how can I say this it doesn't have any headshot damage and it's 3 to 2 shot kill I don't know what to say it's 2 to 3 shot kill depending on your modules well, 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 well. I can say it's pretty. It's gonna be ending up right here with the boys. With the proud eagle right here. Poisonous grasshopper. Two shot kill. It's not bad, but decent. Poisonous fine. Did you know that this weapon does the same damage as Treasurer? Whoa, that's a big surprise. It does the same damage as Treasurer, but lower lower DPS than Treasurer because you know why? Because of the fire rate. It also doesn't have like useful effects like coin drop chance or X-ray effect. See so, yeah. ya. If you do if you do have treasure, don't even try to get this weapon. Now coming to Portalia's Wrath. It's kinda bad. Maybe decent because I just saw Draw's video about it doing wreck rocket jump kills. I just saw Draw's video on it giving rocket jump rewards. But still, the overall weapon of itself is just not that good. I think it's terrible. Potato implant. What I'm gonna say is, 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 is. Maybe here? Is that a good place for potato implant? It's two shot kill and. It takes some heads to activate Zero Punch, and the Zero Punch is just one shot kill most of the time. 
you need decent modules or high modules for this to be one shot. But however, I can say it's gonna be right here. But if you are looking for a shotgun, don't try to get this. But at least Viking can do it better than a taser implant. But also, this does not have any delay. Now coming to professional bow. Where can I put this? I can say it's pretty good. But you cannot use it for 3 cast spam. Because you know, it does have that charring char You cannot use three you can Okay. You cannot use this for 3 cast spam because of its charging speed. So it's only for casuals. It does that high damage, and it also does headshots. Well, it's not as good demon as Demon Catcher. It does not require charging to shoot bullets, okay? Now coming to Pursuer Z3. Pursued Z3. I can say it's decent, or maybe bad. As I can see, as I can see, it has x-ray but look you know that you can use backups with your cast spam most of the time so I don't see this being used raccoon with a pipe however I think it's better than trail bite but still it's not that OP nowadays because of area damage melee to work Revolver sniper rifle is decent. It has that low low capacity. It should get buffed again. Spruce pistol, hmm, not useful. It's bad. Rival gun, rival gun, rival gun, rival. Now coming to rival gun. It's either decent or bad. Cause I do see I do see some disadvantages of this weapon I can say it's decent because it's like two shot kill if I have like really high modules but for me I just see it being three shot kill mm, I can say it's decent it's not recommended but what can I say right here now coming to rocket hands well, it's decent, be good, it's two shot kill, just like this other system, but you know this other system is just better than rocket hands.
Now coming to Rocket Hands. This is Destruction System 2.0, but worse because lower damage and also slightly slower blood travel. They both do hurt you when you try to rocket jump. So Destruction System is also better than Rocket Hands. But if they both two shot kill, then this kills faster than Destruction System. But anyways, this cannot really one shot blocks and block crash. Now coming to Royal Mage Efficient. It's decent, but you know, it's better than Black Hole. It's better than Black Hole. But it's not as good as the weapons over here. It only does 136 base damage, and Black Hole does 126 base damage. And also, it has Charm, which is pretty annoying. And also, they both do not do headshot damages. Now coming to real, ro now coming to royal sniper rifle. Hmm. An obvious regret. And regret for a splinter as well. They're both the same. And splinter is more of a regret than royal sniper rifle. Now coming to the shrimposaur. It's pretty good, but not that good. You cannot really three cast. You cannot really. You cannot really. Well, this is a three shot kill weapon, and if you have like high modules, it can be two shot kill. But if you try to hit multiple enemies with that in one shot, the damages divide which pretty much kills them slowly, slowly, slowly. But anyways, the only downside is that you cannot record jump with this weapon. But anyways, it doesn't have any delays. It's pretty good. So, coming to Siege Mode Gauntlet, I don't see it being too good. But I say it's decent. Now coming to Snap Attacker. Snap Attacker is decent. It's like heavy sniper rifle, but with lower damage, way lower damage, and also, of course. It's like heavy sniper rifle with way lower damage and also it does not really one shot headshot most of the time. So here yeah, that's a downside for this weapon. But anyway, maybe it requires high modules to make a one shot headshot. Now coming to Sniper Module, it's like Pursuer Z3 but in Sniper category, and without X-Ray, bad. Snow Blaster, it's 2 shot kill but I don't see it being too much of a good, or a good, but I'm gonna say it's decent. It has that 74 fire rate, but you know it's 2 shot kill, and pretty much I'm not gonna say it's like right here because it cannot be used for three cast spam and it's not like one of the one of the good weapons for backup challenges. But maybe I'm gonna put it right here or right here. It's between, but you know, this is not that as good as he, as good as the weapons over here. I'm gonna say 
this is good ranking. That's a good ranking for this weapon. Decent. Soda plus pop. You know. You know, same thing as Corn Launcher and Armadillo. They're not really that OP. They're not really that good. Put it right here. Now coming to Thanksgiving Pie. Well, this this is mostly a three cast spam weapon because it does have it doesn't have any delay. But you know it does have the looping shot ability. You do you do. Now coming to the Thanksgiving Pie, it's two shot kill, but it has living shots and it has no delay. But however. That's not a weapon you're gonna use as the precast spammer. I'm gonna say it's only for, the, for clones range. But if you are just a guy who doesn't like to use Nicholas of the Ice King or Poison Darts or Cyber Cat Lantern, I don't know what you're gonna think about this. Throwing Spears. I can say it's bad. Because of its bad damage, because you know it's it's three shot kill or four shot kill, but it's two shot two headshot kill if you land the spear on the headshot. It's a headshot kill if it's a headshot if it's if the if it if it it's a headshot if it lands on the enemy's head. Which makes a two shot, two shot headshot. But anyway, you know the good thing about this is that anywhere you hit on the enemy, and it dies, it counts as a headshot. No matter where you hit, it counts as a headshot kill, which is pretty good for headshot challenges. But I'll rather use, I would rather use weapons with my own skill to make it better than drawing spears. So I'm gonna say it's decent or not recommended. I'm not gonna say it's bad. Now coming to the transform machine gun. This is a worse version of Arca rifle. It has a wider bullet spread. It has a wider three direction shot, and also lower DPS than Arca rifle. So I'm gonna say decent. Or bad, but I'm gonna say it's an obvious regret. It's an obvious regret because you'll know that Arcade Rifle is better than this weapon. Now, coming to Wave Pulsar, decent as well. It's two shot kill. Right here. Why do I have Excalibur right here? Go away. Go away. Where's Delete Button? I don't see any Delete Button. Okay. Winter Staff. The second last weapon we're gonna rank. Bad. Rather Fire. Uh. Right here as well. Just let me explain for both of these weapons. It's not good in the current meta. You know why? It's just like Orange Killer, but a little bit better it do because it does headshots. But it's not supposed to be decent in this case. Because it's not even decent. And this one. This is the same thing as the Cops Club and stuff like that. It's an obvious regret. It's only your choice because you just use it as a mobility weapon. Only for movement, but not for attacking. Now that's all the rankings for the weapons in the tier list. Oh hey, we forgot about the last weapon. Uh, it wasn't in the inventory for the tier list, but now since I got it, here's the Sly Wolf. The Sly Wolf Sly Wolf. It's highly recommended. Highly recommend weapon because you know 
it's really useful for clan raids and this is actually a must have weapon for clan raids if you if you're doing if, if you're trying to do clan raids because you know turrets are probably deadly in the gardens as well so if you if you activate this shield for yourself you will block almost all the shots except the shots from the nuclear howitizer and also the fireball thrower But this weapon is not good in multiplayer. Why would you use this weapon in multiplayer? It's only useful for it's only useful for clan raids. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So good strategies for this weapon is that try to activate it when you are trying to defend yourself or trying to revive a teammate because when you are reviving teammate, you shouldn't be dying as well. And also in the in the time where you're gonna go to the you are trying to come you are trying to capture the time we are trying to capture the flag in the clan raid, you can hold this weapon as well. It will protect you from a lot of garden shots, but sometimes depending on depending on internet connections gardens might block your shield and also go through you but nowadays you know why Sly Wolf is not useful in multiplayer is because there you are know, weapons like Bell Falcon it can easily bypass Sly Wolf just you don't have to hit you can just hit the shield but it also hits you as well so yeah, that's pretty much it. Only use this weapon for clan raids, but not for multiplayer. So yeah, as you can see, there's two weapons that are only that are only for clan raids. They are mostly for clan raids, I mean. But you know, like Demon Catcher as a turret destroyer, great damage and has super punch ability, and it has curse effect. And Sly Wolf, which pretty good for clan raids as well because you have you have to defend yourself because because clan raids is also about survival you have to survive in order to bring the tank to the end of the line and also to revive your teammates while you're holding it so you don't die as well so let's go recap Ashy shotgun it's one of the best shotguns for 3 cast spam, but you know the current the current best shotgun for 3 cast spam is Ultimatum. But I'm gonna say it's the second best. It's my opinion anyway, so don't take it don't take it so serious. It's my opinion. Invisible Lion, I prefer it over Big B Oven. Royal Ashbringer, pretty good. You know why I said it's better than them demolishing the skeleton. You know why? Last week, I find it better than Chicken Boom. This weapon. This weapon and this weapon, I already explained the difference between them. But, but, oh, but anyway, they are both good, but I, have it, but I actually prefer One Spawn Gauntlet over Primal Cold if you are gonna use it in Knife Party or Brawls, yeah pretty much. But also, you need Astro Blade to make it good because Astro Blade is an important module for this weapon, especially for the Primal Cold as well, because you can activate the Super Punch easily. This weapon very useful for duels and hard challenges like firecracker firecrackers challenge and this one is a good combo with the pure blaster and also pretty good for flag capture and duels 
free play mode. This weapon is just the second best weapon that isn't bullet shovel, okay? Stormtrooper is a skeleton. Stormtrooper is a skeleton. The difference between both of these weapons is that, you know, this is actually cheesy to use, but you know, decent damage. It's not a lot of damage or great damage. It's just decent or good. But this one, higher damage than higher damage than Stormtrooper is a skeleton. Demon Catcher, very useful for clan raids, to Tor Destroyer, and also very good for casuals. It's the best bullet travel weapon in the game, for real. Sneaky Pistol, better version of Laser Cycler. Laser Cycler used for 3 cast spam. Aka Rifle, what can I say about this? What can I say about this? Okay, I'm still gonna leave it right here, but look, I can only you can only get this weapon only if you want to get only if you want some close range fights, but look, but look, this isn't really useful if for long range or medium range, so you should know the risk for this weapon. Anyways, I don't know what to say. My final decision. Goodbye, Arc Rifle 4 from that highly recommended section. You should be right here for now. Big B Oven. You know, Invisible Lion I prefer over Big B Oven, but anyway, they are both broken. But you need good Shrabble model to make this good. Huge Boy. What to say about this? What to say about this? It's not useful in duels right now, but should I put it right here? Recommended? Yeah, that's gonna be a good ranking for this weapon. The shotgun system is better than this ultimatum and rocket hands. Okay, okay, okay. You know why is this not better than last week? Well, let me make my decision right now. So look, Chicka Boom does not want shot to the body and develop her armor with X modules. It's actually disappointing. But, 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 but. What I'm gonna say here is that if you do headshots, you're gonna one shot kill to the head. But look, I need to make a decision. I need to make a decision for this thing. I need to make a decision for this thing. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna leave it right here. I have no idea how to compare this between Last Creek and Chicka Boom. But anyways, they are, they are both good, but I prefer Last Creek over Chicka Boom for primary challenges. Golden Friend and Royal Fire are both similar to each other. Same DPS. You know that I sh it should have been like right here if it doesn't have that fixed delay, but since it does have that. Sad, 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 sad. It's gonna be right here. They are both have to be decent, but you know, I prefer Chicka Bloom over Hocus Pocus. Wait, wait, wait a second. I prefer Cook and Totem over Hocus Pocus. Make a rifle is not better than Sonic Sport over. This is this does the same damage as Storm, but. Lower DPS.
Yeah, why is Turtle Bite exactly bad? Great question. The early damage melee work ruined it all. It ruined it all. Even this weapon. It's pretty sad. They are not even that good anymore. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's gonna be here or maybe here, but I'll make my final decision. This is worse than Arcade Rifle, so I don't see it being decent if I bad. Obvious regret. So now I finished with the video, and now let's let's make some final words. Now I finished with the tier list, and let's let me say my final words. So, what do you exactly have to buy if you are looking for a weapon to buy for 1,000 coupons? Well, look. These weapons are pretty good. It's a good recommendation for you to buy. But look, if you have a weapon like Project Marlin, or whatever it's called, the... Conduct of Souls or Desert Kai Rifle mm, Mammoth There's more snipers that are better than these weapons But anyways, if you still have 1000 coupons Look, first go for this tier and then go for this tier and then go for this tier any, any of them and then lastly for this tier and if you have no weapon left to buy for coupons, no worries, no worries. Just wait for Galley update to come out. And then I'll try to update my tier list because developers will obviously update the gallery soon, which will add more weapons to be redeemable for coupons. So this tier list is gonna change a little bit. So if this video helped you, leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me and if you have any opinions on this tier list, comment down below your opinions on this tier list. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Hey, hey, hey. Also, not to forget to mention, we did not talk about the other categories and snipers. So look, for the heavies, this is better than Atomic Spitter because of the fire rate. And let's talk about the heavies first. So heavies, you know that the Bomber Cat in Proton Freezer is better than this weapon? Of course, yes, in terms of general usage because they can rocket jump without getting hurt. But overall, you know, you know, you know, that's a guy for you. Now I'm coming to the special category. So so look, if you have poison darts, because poison darts in the armory as well, because poison darts in the armory, you don't need to buy any special from this set. You don't need to buy any special from this tier list. Except what? Except the vertical grip device, which is important for duels. And if you are a casual and you find this if you if you are finding a good special for casual if you are a casual and you are finding a good special I can recommend this But this this shouldn't be the first weapon you should get
Now coming to the backup category, as we all know, Nerd Cycler is one of the best backups for 3 cast spam and also it's very generic. A lot of people use it, however, but you know, it's still better than, it's still the best backup for 3 cast spam. In this one, you know that it's only good for backup challenges, it's pretty good for casual as well. But it does have things delay, which pretty ruins it. Now coming to the primary category, as a shotgun is the S tier. Now as a shotgun is really good, and why is it actually better than Viking? Well, great question, great question, great question, great question. Why do I prefer Acid Shotgun over Viking? Great question. It's because it doesn't have any delay. So yeah, I can say it's better than Viking. Uh, but you know, also, Space Devastator is almost the same, but it doesn't have better damage, over, better damage overall than Acid Shotgun. So yeah. You can get Viking as well. It's not it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's good as well. It's good as well. But you know it's gonna be two shot kill the body and one shot headshots if you have good modules. And, this, and the same thing comes to this weapon. Yeah, pretty much. And for the automatics if you're looking for automatic weapon, the first thing you should go for is this. It's pretty good, conserves ammo pretty well, and it does have a really good DPS. Better than Neutron Pulsator, for real. But it's downside is that it doesn't have zoom, doesn't have scope, but that's not a big downside for this weapon. Now coming to melee category. Now coming to melee category. If you are looking for a melee to attack enemies with, this can be a great option. But Primal Cold can be the second option. But if you have no choice of which one can be better, it depends. It depends. If you are looking for balanced, balanced melee that's between mobility weapon and attack weapon you can use this but for attacking but it's not really for mobility you can use this because it's better than primal cold in terms of attack enemies so yeah pretty much And yeah, that's pretty much it, and see you in the next video. Peace out.